Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be playing around with the front wide fenders for the Forest Star. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys, if you haven't yet please consider hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with my projects. With that being said guys, let's go get the fenders. Alright guys, the front wider fenders, I don't think I've shown them for at least two years. So I don't think I've actually worked on them here worked on them at my parents place, the original Harrods garage. So they're in the garden shed, we need to go get them. So I'm going to get another table, bring it in here and I'll lay them out and I'll take you through what I need to do. As you can tell I've uh, painted some rims on this table before. Which I need to redo. They're the skyline ones. Um, Alright. I'll grab the light and go grab the two moulds. Alright boys, so this is the plug. It's a normal guard fender with the flare on it. Yeah, so I've sealed it up. And now it's one. So the guard will look like that, but we'll have that much extra. So it's about an inch there. Yeah. And this one down here, I haven't finished yet. Come over with this spider. I don't know what type of spider that is, but I would like you to leave, please. As you can tell by the fiberglass, I've run out of resin. So that's where I was up to. So I need to get some resin onto it and just keep going from where I stopped two years ago. So. I need to clean these up. I want to try to make sure I keep this edge nice so it will look like that. We don't want to round it off or anything like that. Yeah. Too many. Good dose of Yeah. Oh, look at that. Mouse poo, too. Big one is uh, fully stretched out. There we go. Right. Sorry, I didn't squish him. He's there. He's just chilling. Can't believe that I just stopped. Like, seriously, that's not even like fully. Alright. I'll get rid of this red one and I'll get that up and flip it over and show you what I need to do. Actually, I'll quickly take you through. So I've actually got all the mounting locations. Yeah. So here and here. And we've got a little notched out bit for the indicator. This little bit here for the bumper. I have to do a little repair job there. And as you can tell, it's got a bit for the indicator as well. So when we lay over that, that'll be an indent of that. And I can just 
cut it out. And yeah, we put the, all the edge all the way around. And we need to trim this up as well for that all the mounting for under the bonnet. So that will get screwed on there with the bolts, these ones that I got and you've probably seen them on the gauge pod mould. That's originally why I bought these for this project. <laughs> oh wow. As you can see we've got screws through this bit of metal. So that makes that um, little border there. So that'll make the split. I wonder where these were. And I've got this. So the uh, clay. You just put in the hole and push it through just a little bit. And I'll give you that indentation that I showed you before. So you know the mounting locations. Cool. So we've got one there, we've got some there, we've got some there, there, and there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And I might even put some um, resin on it tonight. I think there's a snail shell. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So got 200 grams in there. Really gonna lay it on with this a bit of strength. That one's pretty good. I don't think that will bow out of shape. I was getting a bit worried that it would, but it is pretty thick. So I think this is pretty thick. It just needs to be finished off with the resin. I think I ran out of resin and just didn't have the money at the time to purchase more. So Finally finish this off. Alright guys, so I've got, a, I've got the prep wash underneath there. I'm not too worried about how this side looks, it's all about how the inside looks. So just lay it on. I mean, I've got that propped up, so yeah, we should be okay. Tell you what, you've got to move a lot quicker with this resin then um, the, the clear stuff the carbon it's super slow it's super quick Just work it a bit on the edges I know a lot of this will be trimmed off you'll probably see on the other one it was trimmed up so Pretty heavy um, cloth I got there too. Well, this is a lot easier doing it on this table than on the bench back in my parents' place where I started this because I could not get around to the other side. So, makes it a bit easier. I can't believe I've been sitting on these for two years. And now, what is it? Fenderist? Fenderist, I think it is. It's brought out a wide body kit for a SF5. I procrastinate too much about these type of things that I've been thinking about, so... <laughs> that sounds funny. The things I've started. I jump around too much, don't I, guys? You know what guys, I think I want to go for a drive. Go for a drive in the paws. So we are officially back onto the wide body at the front. <clears throat> so like I showed you, it's just going to look like that, like a normal flare. 
a uh, little bit wider and then we'll do the same at the back except we'll just use a genuine one that I've already got and we'll trim that up and if the wheel comes out wider then we'll have to obviously cut um, which I've never done before so once I've cut it I guess that leaves it open to go even wider with my extra wide flares that I've made so see what the future brings us so let's go for a shot gee dead actually he's probably been sitting next to the computer for probably when was the last time I did it probably about a month actually that explains why it's uh, dead so I'll just baby it I just want to go for a drive I just want to putt around and not just drive 5k's to work so just be careful might be silly need to order a fuel ratio gauge uh, AEM I was looking at so a few hundred dollars So, I stopped for petrol, and out of the right side exhaust, I'm still smoking. So, yeah, and now Highway Patrol are just a couple of pumps over, filling up. So, uh, let's get out of here. So, both of the police were out of the vehicle. And uh, they were staring at my car, and I gave them the wave. I, I didn't get a wave back. I got out of there quietly, and I'm going home to go watch Rick and Morty. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to ask the parts guys. Relay, and hopefully that helps with the oiling, if it is that. Because um, yeah, <laughs> I put a clip in and took on my phone. It was like smoking out the right side. And that's why I want to fix that type of stuff. So like, you know, please see that, or somebody will dog me in to the EPA because I'm smoky. Um, and then I'm up shit creek anyway if you've watched this long thank you 
Comment down below if you did. Um, comment below what was your first video that you saw of Harrods Garage or even back in the day Pud's Garage like Puddin <sighs> anyway I'm going to close this one off here thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next episode bye